Hello everyone. Now in this video, I just wanted to talk about uh, VSC toolset, which is one of those tools which I really think is either underrated or people don't, not, not a lot of people know about. But uh, I think it's one of those really great tools that you should start using. Now I'm going to just show you one example, but I'll hopefully I'll add more later, but I just wanted to uh, give you one example about how we can take advantage of this. Now, let's assume you have a case where uh, you have volume shadow copies and let's say uh, there was, let's say the threat actor gained access to the system, did something on the system and then deleted uh, and created a user account. And then after that, they, let's say, deleted the user account so and now let's say we have another uh, volume shadow copy so let's say we have multiple volume shadow copies and with let's say different registry data because the data will be different based on what activity happened during that time how am i going to be parsing maybe let's say those volume shadow copies and the data in there now you can definitely uh, mount them all uh, and then access each one of them or let's say mount all of those volume shadow copies check the registry files in there and then uh, do your work there but with this tool you can do really that far more faster than uh, you can imagine so what I'm going to do is I already did a recording about how to use RegRipper to parse the run key I'm going to use VSC toolset to do the same thing but across multiple volume shadow copies now, in my case, there probably won't be a lot of details, but at least I can show you the answer. Hopefully, there is some data in there. We'll see. I don't really remember. So I'm going to just, as you can see here, linked, click, one click. Now we created these symbolic links to the volume shadow copies that we have. And now all I need to do is select them to start running my commands against them. Now, the command that I want is regripper plugin. And all you need to do, by the way, after you download this tool, extract it, and then you'll see, uh, <clears throat> if I remember correctly, the developer is named Jason. I apologize if that's not your name, but I think uh, Jason was the person behind it anyway. Sorry, Jason, if that's not your name. Uh, all we need to do is, there is a directory here, which is called RegRipper. Copy the content of RegRipper, throw them over here, and now you can use RegRipper over through the tool itself. So what we are going to do, again, select these because I want to target my RegRipper plugin against them. And the hive which I want to check is NT user. Okay, similar to what we did on the command line, actually, and I have my command line still over here. As you can see, this is what we did. Okay. And now after that, except now we are using against the end user the dot, which is found where within the volume shadow copies. And as we know, because we have access to these volume shadow copies, uh, they are not pro like we can access those files, the those uh, hives like the end user, the system hives, etc. Because we are accessing them through the volume shadow copy. So again, uh, select that uh, the hive that we want to test against and then the plugin which is our run key right we wanted to test run so if we go down and then select run similar to what we did and now all we need to do you can either select the user that you want so you can say which user that you want so if let's say I want to say IE user which is the one I want to test but in all three uh, in all of these three volume shadow copies and now I hit run as you can see the results have been done and now they are stored in uh, in a directory so if we go there we can now go to the directory and you can see the results of each one of these okay each one of these uh, from each volume shadow copy so we can see the result of this one we can see the results from this one and we can see the results from this one so this is just an example to show you that how we can like in one single command, we parsed three end user dot dots which are found in different volume shadow copies. Again, it's not just about run. You can use, let's say, user assist. So let's do user assist just for example. So user assist again, 
and we want for this user so i'm gonna do clear and run now it's gonna give me all of the user assist from each one of these volume shadow copies and store them in an output file and now i can go look at the user assist which was found in this volume shadow copy see we can see there in this case we had i'm a malware case now this is just for testing purposes so but over here as you can see we don't have that so this way we can even compare like what happened even between those volume shadow copy updates or what happened so really this is a great tool that i don't see people much talking about and mentioning it and i really think combining this with reg ripper gives you a really great advantage in, in speeding up your investigation and uh, analysis so uh, i hope you found it useful that's it for uh, this video and hopefully we'll see you in other videos and i will be showing more videos about vsc toolset and how you can use it to do uh, like different tests not just reg repair and uh, there are so many other things that you can do with this tool it's a really great tool uh, thank you for watching and i hope you have a good day bye bye